Vittoria de la Molina, an Italian graduate student at Cafascari University in Venice, took a break from her studies in November 2017 to visit an Armenian monastery on San Lazaro Degli, a small island in the Venetian lagoon. She is looking around a building from the early 1800s when she sees a sardin in a glass display. Hello everyone! In this video, we will talk about a student in Venice who found one of the world's oldest swords, and it's a mysterious weapon. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Let's get started. De La Molina told Live Science that it was her first time on the island and that she was there for fun, but that the sword she saw would lead to a lot of research. The sword and other things were called medieval, which means they were probably a few hundred years old. But the student studied the early Bronze Age, and her thesis was about things that were found in graves at that time. The February 2020 message from Cafascari University, both De La Molina's master's thesis and PhD study, were about ancient swords from the Near East, so it was lucky that someone with so much knowledge saw the sword at the monastery. After running away from Turkish enemies, the monk Makator started a church and convent in 1701 in a part of Greece that was ruled by the Venetians. Makator had to leave again because of wars with Venice and the Turks burned his Greek church. In 1715, he and 16 of his monks got to Venice without any problems. In 1717, he got the island of San Lazaro from the Venetians. Even though the island was small, it gave Mercator and his people a new place to live. The monks went to work building the main monastery building, setting up the new Armenian center by fixing up the old leper's church and building a new school because they had quadrupled the size of their island home. In 2015, Frances Mays went to San Lazaro, which was written about in Smithsonian Magazine. She got away from her guides and looked around the abbey. She found mummies, marble busts, rose water liquor, and the monks 150,000 books in glass-fronted cases under paintings of church elders reading books. Lord Byron spent a lot of time in Venice in 1816 at the Island Monastery. He worked with the monks for six months to put together an English-Armenian dictionary. The story of the island is that he swam from the city to the island. De La Molina told CNN that she had been to the abbey many times but had never seen a sword there. It was strange that Molina said the weapon wasn't from the Middle Ages, but it was time to find out, because she was right. The girl asked the San Lazaro monks about the sword. They told her that their list of items didn't say that the sword was from ancient eastern Anatolia. This didn't prove or disprove Alarmina's idea, but it didn't help it either. Father Serafino, a monk from San Lazaro, told De La Molina how the sword ended up at the island monastery. Early on, Jim looked at the records and was able to piece together some of the complicated trip the sword took to get to the island. Jamerlian found in the archives that a famous Armenian civil engineer and art and antiquities collector named Yervin Khorasandian had given the sword and other archaeological items to a monk named Given Dalishan 150 years ago. Khorasandian wrote about his time at a Methodist school run by Allison in Paris, France. Jamerlian gave the school the gift as a way to say thank you for helping him grow up. In 1901, Father Leonzio Allison died in San Lazaro. He left his money to the church. When the sword was given to him, he found a note written in Armenian that said it was found in a Black Sea town because Kavak was built on the site of an old Greek town called Trebizond, which is now called Trabzon in eastern Turkey. The sword had a history that went from the 19th century to the present day. De La Molina thought the sword was from 5,000 years ago because it looked like swords from that time. Two swords from the Near East were shown to De La Molina. Researchers found weapons from 3000 BC on our island up to Saibas and in old towns in what is now eastern Turkey, Anatolia. The student thought the San Lazaro sword looked like the Arslantop and Saibas swords from the past. Archaeologists thought the sword was made in eastern Anatolia but without the monastery's display box, they couldn't be sure. The metal in the weapon would have to be tested for chemicals. 
Professor Ivana Angelina of the University of Padua said that the SIBA Historical Study Center helped with this hard work and that experts found that the sword was made of an alloy of metals called arsenical copper. About 5,000 years ago, people who worked with metal used this material. This was before copper and tin-based brass became popular. This was a very important piece of proof. After looking at the sword for two years, experts were sure that it was made at the end of the 4th century BC or the beginning of the 3rd century BC. This sword has only been found in eastern Anatolia, which is between the Euphrates River and the Black Sea. The sword was used in a funeral rite. According to experts from Kafiskari University, villagers may have thrown it away with other grave items. Alina Rova, who oversaw De La Molina's PhD, told him about the swords of San Lazaro. He said that two different kinds of swords were made between the northern Caucasus and eastern Anatolia. Rova said that local chiefs were buried with a lot of guns and other valuable things to show that they were strong fighters. The sword was one of these things, so it would have been on the grave of a great warrior leader more than 2,000 years ago. The sword can now be seen in its own room at the San Lazaro Monastery's museum. Jamurian told CNN that many people called to watch the story, so they would have done so even if Victoria de la Molina hadn't gone to the San Lazaro Monastery in 2017. If not for the quick eyes of the young student, this amazing tool might have been lost to history. That's it for today. What do you think about this incredible discovery? Let us know in the comment section. Please like and share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.